Hi, I'm Emmanuel Feldman. I'm a concert cellist, educator, and the inventor of the Tech Pin N Pin. <laughs> The tech pin is a vertical angle end pin. It's unlike any other end pin before it. A traditional end pin will be straight and about this angle. And a angled end pin will be a little bit more angled like that. The tech pin on the other hand is going to go straight to the ground which gives you huge advantages. I had a major recording project and I was scheduled to record with orchestra a, a couple of concerti. I practiced so much that I basically wrecked my back. And I wanted to know why and how this happened to me. Looking into it, I started to experiment with different uh, end pin types. What I ended up with was an end pin that went vertically to the floor. And it made it so that I could move forward and backwards or in any direction at all. And this turned out to be the key to uh, being able to have your back relaxed and having all of your core muscles engaged and free. promotes motion and has stability at the same time. I can practice for hours on end without getting tired and this is super important. If you're passionate about your playing and you are getting ready for a project, you, you want to practice. The tech pin is a vertical end pin so you can actually move it forward. It doesn't interfere with music stands. If you're sharing uh, a stand in orchestra with a partner, you can actually get on any angle that you want um, and uh, because of the way that the cello floats in front of you, you literally can put it in any position and have comfort there. It doesn't push you back in your chair like other end pins. Um, and this is super important because if you're pushed back, your shoulders are going to get tight and not able to move the way that you want. Same thing if you're too far forward pushing into the cello. Uh, you want to be right balanced in the middle so that you have complete freedom. You'll be able to move from your core muscles and stay relaxed at the same time. With the uh, tech pin's new center of gravity, which is now higher, um, you'll find that when you play, you'll be able to move freely from left to right front and back without it becoming unstable. It's completely non-slip. If you're playing on a concert stage and you've got wood, the titanium tip is going to go right into it. And when you've got a tip, it's sort of like a cone. If that cone is going straight up and down, it's going to penetrate the surface. A angled end pin is going to be like this, and even worse, a straight end pin is going to be like that. It can slip. If you're at a, a, a venue where you need to use a rock stop or a strap works perfectly with that. Uh, the downward motion holds the rock stop or the strap on the floor and there's much less tendency for it to shoot out in any direction because it's going straight down. Uh, when you have a straight end pin it might move around. <laughs> been around beautiful instruments my whole life and when I was designing the tech pin it just had to be a beautiful gorgeous design. So I ended up using these exotic hardwoods which are absolutely gorgeous and complement the color of most cellos really well. The uh, shaft of the tech pin is made of stainless steel, it's hollow body and inside that goes a titanium rod or a stainless steel rod, both are available. Also available is a lightweight carbon fiber shaft that includes either the titanium or the stainless steel rod options. And all these materials are very light and resonant and this was super important to me so that the sound does get enhanced. What's so great about this design is that when the tech pin is in use like this, this 
whole end pin gets to vibrate without having stress on it because of the way that the cello is balanced. When you have a straight end pin, it puts a lot of stress on the rod and keeps it from vibrating. This is completely free to vibrate, almost like a string or a key on a xylophone. So when I first put a tech pin in my cello, I was just bowled over by the increased resonance. It just was striking to me how different the instrument reacted. The tech pin is as easy as any other end pin to take in and out of the cello. And when I designed this, for me as a designer and also as a concert cellist, it had to be simple to operate. That was super important. For installing the tech pin, we advise that you go to a professional luthier or violin shop. It gives you peace of mind and you know that it's being installed properly. It's no more difficult to uh, install than a straight end pin or an angled end pin and it's best to have an expert do it so that you get a solid installation.